Please join in praying for the sick and homebound. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. <clears throat> Die entrance ante von Come, come and show us. You are seated upon the cherubim, and we will be saved. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today's Holy Eucharist is offered for the all intentions of St. Mark's Mass Society. On the beginning, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who sent your only begotten Son into this world, to free the human race from its ancient enslavement, bestow on those who devoutly await him the grace of your compassion from on high, that we may attend the prize of true freedom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, O people of Zion who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. <clears throat> he will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher. While from behind a voice shall sound in your ears, this is the way, walk in it, when you would turn to the right or to the left. He will give rain for the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat that the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spacious meadows, the oxen and the ashes, asses that till the ground will eat silage tossed to them with shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill, there will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be that, like that of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater than the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people, he will heal the bruises left by his blows. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing praise to our God, for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. The dispersed of Israel he gathers. Blessed are, Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are, Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly. The wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed, Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is our judge, our lawgiver, and our king. It is he who will save us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. Jesus sent out these 12 after instructing them thus, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So my brothers and sisters, on the beginning today, I have first I have a question. What is different between the present and the gift? Mm. What is different? Is different or is the same? Okay. Different opinions. What is different between present and the gift? Love? Uh, yeah. Not exactly, always. Yeah, it's good, uh, good, uh, uh, good way and good advice, but I am not sure that this is working like that. For me, present is something that I am something expected. Okay, that I can expect something. Like, for example, is my birthday, is the Christmas season right now. We are preparing a lot of presents, a lot of. But the gift is something much more. This is something uh, for free. This is something like, for example, the truly gift for this Christmas is always at the moment when we remember the moment of the incarnation, the moment of the nativity of Jesus Christ. And this is something huge, this is bigger, uh, this is more, more deeper. And this is something, this is for me difference between present and the gift. 
And you know why this is so important? Uh, because uh, I would like today remind you uh, the second, second sentence from the gospel. Can't you remind us? You have the gospel here, yeah? Okay, can't you remind us the, second, the, last, uh, the last sentence of the gospel? Without cost, may I? Mm -hmm. So the last sentence of today's gospel is, without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. So the, the question for us after the end of this first week of the Advent is, Jesus was giving a lot of graces during this week. I kept this, this graces just for myself. I share with people around me. You know, this first uh, Advent candle means uh, joy. So I share the joy whole week with everyone around me, or I was like the, you know, depressed, uh, mean, uh, complain person who was trying to do uh, that everyone will be done, not exciting, not joyful. So this is the moment on the end of this first week, excuse me, on the first week of the Advent that we have to ask ourselves about that. Because this season is so important for us, because we have to be ready that Jesus will be coming all the time, every day, in every second of our lives. This is not just about the Christmas, but also the Advent season and the coming Christmas season. For me, always this is like the sweet Jesus reminder that I have to be sure that by, by my every word and action, Jesus will be alive in every human being around me. Not in some, in every. So he is uh, truly uh, trying to remind us today that he is the truly gift. So just don't stop on the preparing, preparation of the presence, but be like the Jesus gift for people around you. Be like the gift of the joy on the end of this first week, but be like the gift of the peace of this coming second week of Advent. So maybe if we'll be truly meditate and try to participate in this Advent season like that, maybe this season will be so amazing for us. This season maybe will be changing a lot of in our lives and in our hearts and also in the hearts and lives people around us. Because Jesus is coming without cost and he would like to, to, uh, to make us something like his disciples that will be doing exactly like was in today's gospel. That will be healing because we are the, the witnesses of Jesus Christ that will be casting out the demons, that will be, you know, preaching the gospel of love. And at this moment, this amazing Jesus gift of his nativity will be always around us. Amen. United in faith, let us bring our prayers before our gracious and loving God. For Pope Francis and all leaders of the church, may the light of Christ continue to illuminate them in every step. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who govern, may the Lord grant them strength, courage, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those who feel marginalized, may the compassion and consolation of God bring them healing and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith gathered here, may the Lord fill us with love and truth 
and guide us in the ways of wisdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our Christian brothers and sisters who are being persecuted all over the world. And for the holy souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any special prayers or petitions we have in our prayer book, or any special prayers or petitions we hold in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, thank you for your great love for us. We ask that you hear these prayers we bring to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for true goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for true goodness, we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <laughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in the sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed in his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to internal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, at all it at the last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end. We acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, those gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim the death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us, Lord, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be coerced to eternal light, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and in us not to temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from, from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, For the, kingdom the power, power, and the glory are yours, Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. We call the Lamb of God. We hold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, I shall not enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. Behold, I am coming soon, and my recompense is with me, says the Lord, to bestow a reward according to the deeds of each. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
I would like to invite the Eucharistic ministers My brothers, you are sent from this assembly to bring the word of God and the bread of life to the sick members of our parish family. Go to them with our love, our care, and our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, O Lord that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth and hope in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We stand Bend before with us you, before. Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. By Novena Pair to the Immaculate Conception, Day 6. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, did prepare a worthy dwelling place for your son, we beseech you that, as by the foreseen death of this, your son, you did not preserve, you did not preserve her from stain, you did preserve her from all stain of sin, so to you would permit us, purified through her intercession, to come unto you. Through the same Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, world without end, amen. Glorious and immortal Queen of Heaven, we profess our firm belief in your immaculate conception, preordained for you in the merits of your divine Son. We rejoice with you in your immaculate conception. To you, the one ever reigning God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in person, one in nature, we offer thanks for your blessed immaculate conception. Our Mother of the Word, made flesh, listen to our petition as we ask this special grace during this novena. O Mary of the Immaculate Conception, Mother of Christ, you had influence with your divine Son while upon this earth. You have the same influence now in heaven. Pray for us and obtain for us from him the granting of my petition if it be thy divine will, amen. amen. Our novena prayer to Our Lady at Chestahova. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Our Lady and our Mother, trusting in your maternal goodness and the powerful intercession with your Son, we place before you our humble prayers and petitions. To you we commend all our needs and the needs of our families and our parish. For our negligence in the faith and for the religious indifference through which we have strayed so often from God, unmindful of his presence and love, we, we ask you, Mother, mother intercede, intercede for us. For our conduct, which has not always been in accord with our holy faith, nor with the dignity of a child of God, for sins against life, for drunkenness, selfishness, 
carelessness, envy, social discord, and lacks of moral. We, we ask, ask you, Mother, mother intercede, intercede for us. For being so preoccupied with ourselves that we did not see the needs of our brothers and sisters, the hungry, the homeless, the sick, and the lonely, we, we ask, ask you, Mother, mother intercede, intercede for, us. for us. An act of consecration. Mother of God, Immaculate Mary, to you we consecrate our body and soul, all our prayers, works, joys, and sufferings, all that we are and possess. With eager heart, we dedicate ourselves to you in a slavery of love. We give you complete freedom in making use of us for the salvation of all and the assistance of the Holy Church, of which you are the mother. From now on, we wish to do everything with you, through you, and for you. We know that by our own strength, we shall accomplish nothing. You, however, can do everything that is the will of your Son, and you are always victorious. Grant then help of Christians that our families, parish, and country may truly be the kingdom of your Son and yours. Amen. It is you, O Holy Mother of God, that we go for refuge and protection. Look kindly on us as we cry to you in our need. Glorious and blessed Virgin, be with us always and rescue us from every kind of danger. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. A holy queen and throne above. A mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumphant in each shadow bin, sing with us in his sad affin, have an earth risen deacon, Salve, 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 Regina. Thank you so much. Blessed day for everyone.